Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, We are continuing on with solving linear equations 3b. Uh, just to recap, what does solving mean? To find the answer. To find the answer. That, that's what we do in every single question. Find the answer. What does that mean? Find the simple score of each, each side. When did I ever use that language? Yes. Show we have to show working out. What does solving mean? To find the unknown. Find the value of the unknown. Is there an unknown here? Yes. What's the unknown? Yes. What's the unknown here? Yes. Here? Yes. Oh, I've used X. Can it be anything other than X? Yes. yes. So we need to find the value of the unknown for which the left hand side is equal to the right, the right hand side. Okay? So we need to solve all of these equations. Are these equations? What makes them an equation? Equal sign. Do they all have an equal sign? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Can you please stop that? They all have an equal sign, so yes, they are equations, so we can solve them. Solving means finding the value of the unknown. And they are all linear equations. What, is, uh, what makes them linear equations? We did talk about it last lesson. This is one yeah, power of the unknown is one. one. Do we have an x squared term? No. no. Do we have an x cubed term? No. no. So they are all equations because they have an equal sign. They are linear equations because the power of x or any unknown is 1. And now we need to find the values of x for which both sides are equal. So these are slightly different to the ones we did last lesson. These equations have the unknown on both sides. Okay? So our aim is to move the unknown to one side and everything else to the other. Well done. How do we move things to the other side? Opposite operations. So I need to get rid of this 10 here. Is this 10 being added? Yes. What's the opposite of adding 10? So, if I minus 10 from this side, it's an equation. It's not balanced anymore. Do I have to do the same thing to the other side? Yes. 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 Is that right? Yes. Then, this sign, this implies 8x minus 10. Can I take away 10 from 8x? Yes. Are they like terms? No. 8x and 10, can I take them away? No. no. So 8x, 10 take away 10, is that 0? Yes. Do I write the 0? No. no. It looks ugly there, we don't. Yes. Then, 3x and 10, like terms? No. No, no. so just 3x. 5 and 10, like terms? No. Yes. 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 So they're just numbers? Yes. 5 take away 10 is? Negative 5. Negative 5. Now, we need to move the 3x to left hand side. Is the 3x... A positive 3x? Yes. yes. So what's opposite of plus 3x? Minus. minus 3x. So I'm going to minus 3x from both sides because whatever I do to one side, I can do to the other. Yes? Yes. yes. Like terms, 8x and 3x? Yes. 8x minus 3x is? 5x. 5x. 3x take away 3x? Zero. Zero. That was the whole point, to get rid of 3x there yeah. and negative 5. Now, I need to get rid of the 5 that's with the x because I want x equals. I don't want that 5. What is that 5 doing to x? Uh, it's times it. So we've got to do the opposite. So we've got to divide. Well done. It's 5 times x. Eyes on board. So what's opposite of multiplying? Divide. Dividing. And we have x equals? One. Negative 1. Put the answer in a box so it's explicitly stated. Happy with that? Yes. Next one. We need to move the 4x to the left hand side. It's minus 4x. What's the opposite of minus 4x? Plus. Plus. On both sides? Yeah. Like terms? 7x and 4x? Yeah. 7x plus 4x is how many x's? 11x? Yeah. Plus 9? 4x minus 4x? Will that cancel out? Cancel out. Yes, that was the whole point, to get rid of the 4x there. Minus 13. How will I get rid of the 9? How can I move the 9 to the other side? Oh, yep. It's plus 9. Opposite of plus 9 is? Negative, negative 9. Negative 13 minus 9. No, they're both negative. So we have negative 13 and negative 9. We add them, we get negative 21. 22? See, I was checking if you guys are awake. Okay. 
Eleven X. How do I get rid of the eleven? Divide. You guys are so smart. I don't even need to teach you anymore. X equals. That's it. Well done. Eyes on the board. Not no talking when I'm talking. Sitting straight. This one. Will you get rid of the six first? Can I divide both sides by six? I can, but what will happen? 11 divided by 6, I'll get a fraction. Who likes fractions? I don't. Anyone here likes fractions? So I don't want fractions. If this was something like 18, is 18 divisible by 6? So I would have divided by 6 first. However, this is 11. I don't want fractions, at least not in my working out. So I'm going to expand this. 6 times x? 6 times positive 2? Plus 12? Same thing. Expanding there? 11 times x? 11 times negative 3? So if, like, the method you use for an equation depends on what your question is. So what kind of numbers? So we don't want fractions, we expand it. Now, can I do minus 12 on both sides? Yes. So I get 6x equals... Is that right? Yes. How do I move 11 to the other side? Minus 11. It's plus 11 here. Opposite of plus 11 x? Minus 11. What 6 take away 11? Negative? 5. Dividing both sides by? Negative 5. You, you can divide by 5 first and then by minus 1, but the quicker way would be Divided both sides by negative 5. Let's do that. Nine. They don't really cancel out. It's a negative by a ne divided by a negative is a positive number. Question. Um, what did you mean about when you said it goes 6 and 18 to divide it? Good question. So, let's do that. Let's say the question had 18 here instead of 11. I would not expand these. What I'll do is, I'll get rid of the 6 by dividing both sides by 6. See what happens. That's it. And then I'll expand only the right hand side. So I've simplified my question. But if I do this step here, 11 over 6 is a fraction. 11 is not a multiple of 6, so I will not use that strategy. The next question, again, what strategy would you use? Are the denominators the same? Yes. Yes? So one thing you can do is, if you have one fraction equals the other, you can cross multiply. That's what you would do in any situation. Right? So if you have one fraction equals the other, you can cross multiply. This denominator goes here, gets multiplied. This denominator goes here, gets that multiplied. However, eyes on the board. Stop writing. Sit up. Yep. But because the denominators are same, it won't be the best method. We'll make our numbers bigger if we do that. So instead, what I'm going to do is, have a look here. If I times both these sides by 3, can I do that? Whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. Don't both of these denominators cancel out? Yeah. Yeah. So isn't that easier method because you're simplifying your numbers rather than making them bigger? Yeah. So that's what I would do. I'll multiply both sides by 3. I got rid of the fraction straight away. So what am I left with? 2x plus 5 equals x minus 4. Simple question now. So how you deal with the question depends on the numbers. Can I minus x from both sides because it's plus x? 2x yeah. take away x is x. Minus 5 on both sides. x equals negative 9. Any questions? That's it. Get on with your work. Copy this. And... Uh,